God for, again, allowing us this privilege and this opportunity, amen, on this evening. So at this time, I'm gonna ask Elder James, if you would, to just lead us in prayer, amen, and we'll go from there. Precious Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we come to your God to thank you. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, oh God, by you allowed us to rise up this morning, Lord. How you allowed us to come through this day. Oh God, we thank you for our pastor, oh God. We thank you for your word, oh God. Thank you, oh God, for Lord God, for being able to receive your word, Lord God. Help us to be a doer of it, Lord. Lord, we thank you for everybody, oh God. We pray, oh God, to bless those that are here, bless those that may be sick. Lord God, give them deliverance. In Jesus' name we pray. Let us all say amen. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Elder James. Praise the Lord. Uh, you'll find this in, in uh, chapter two, uh, the book of Acts. And I believe we uh, left off um, around, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, the 38th uh, verse. I uh, wanted to um, just uh, explore that just a little bit more. I had mentioned, um, and I guess we read a, a few scriptures concerning that it is in chapter, uh, verse 38, that we, we come to, to know and understand that those who uh, accepted what was said uh, when uh, the question was asked, uh, men and brethren, what shall we do? Uh, Peter plainly states, then Peter said unto them, repent, uh, be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, praise God. And again, recognizing who his audience were at this time, that they were uh, as um, Luke puts it, uh, he makes several statements, but, and he says in verse five of chapter two, and there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men out of every nation under heaven. And in verse number uh, 10, uh, as Luke is listing the places uh, where many of them are from, he also includes that they were uh, strangers of Rome, uh, Jews and proselytes, uh, converts, okay. And so when he makes that statement um, to uh, be baptized, every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the purpose of remission of sins or the forgiveness, if you will, of sins, again, the Jew knows and he understands that only God can forgive sin, all right? And so to accept that is also to accept and to acknowledge the fact that this Jesus of Nazareth uh, that Peter uh, proclaimed on this day uh, was not only the man praise God Jesus of Nazareth, but he was God himself, all right? And so what I wanted to do, I wanted to read a few scriptures to you, uh, just bear along with me. Um, I uh, first want to go to um, what I first want to do is I want I want to I want to start. Well, let's do this. Um, I want to start at Luke chapter seven. And I'll come back. 
Uh, verse 36 says, and one of the Pharisees desired, and I think we spoke on this uh, just a few weeks ago, uh, him that he would eat with him. And he went into the Pharisee's house and sat down to meet. And behold, a woman in the city, which was a sinner, and she knew that Jesus sat at meat with the, in the Pharisee's house, brought an alabaster box of ointment and stood at his feet behind him weeping and began to wash his feet with tears and did wipe them with the hairs of her head and kissed his feet and anointed them with the ointment. Now, when the Pharisee had bidden him, which, excuse me, now the Pharisee, which had bidden him, saw it, he spake within himself, saying, this man, if he were a prophet, would have known who and what manner of woman this is that toucheth him, for she is a sinner. And Jesus answering said unto her, him, Simon, I have somewhat to say unto thee. And he saith, Master, say on. There was a certain creditor which had two debt debtors. The one owed 500 pence and the other 50. And when they had nothing to pay, he frankly forgave them both. Tell me, therefore, which of them will love him most? Simon answered and said, I suppose that he to whom he forgave most. And he said unto him, thou hast rightly judged. And he turned to the woman and said unto Simon, seest thou this woman? I entered into thine house. Thou gavest me no water for my feet, but she hath washed my feet with tears and wiped them with the hairs of her head. Thou gavest me no kiss, but this woman since the time I came in have ceased, have not ceased to kiss my feet. My head with oil thou didst not anoint, but this woman hath anointed my feet with ointment. Wherefore I say unto thee, her sins, which are many, are forgiven. For she loved much, but to whom little is forgiven, the same loveth little. And he said unto her, thy sins are forgiven. And they that sat at meat with him began to say within themselves, who is this that forgiveth sins also? And he said to the woman, thy faith have saved thee, go in peace, okay? I wanna go two chapters back to chapter five. And this is the account of Jesus uh, forgiving and healing uh, the paralytic. And it came to pass on a certain day, this is uh, five and 17, as he was teaching that that there were Pharisees and doctors of the law sitting by which were come out of every town of Galilee and Judea and Jerusalem and, and the power of the Lord was present to heal them. And behold, men brought in a bed, brought in a bed, a man which was taken with a palsy and they sought means to to bring him in and they lay him before him. And when they could not find by what way they might bring him in because of the multitude, they went upon the housetop and let him down through the tiling with his couch into the mist before Jesus. And when he saw their faith, he said unto him, man, thy sins are forgiven thee. And the scribes and the Pharisees began to reason, saying, Who is this which speaketh blasphemies? Who can forgive sins 
but God alone. But when Jesus perceived their thoughts, he answering said unto them, what reason ye in your hearts, whether it is easier to say thy sins be forgiven thee, or say rise up and walk. But that ye may know that the Son of Man have power upon the earth to forgive sins, he said unto the sick of the palsy, I say unto thee, arise and take up thy couch and go into thine house. And immediately he rose up before them and took up that whereon he lay and departed to his own house, glorifying God. And they all were amazed and they glorified God and were filled with fear saying, we have seen strange things today, all right? The same account is in uh, Matthew 9 and one through eight. I'm not gonna read it all, but I'll just read a portion of it. And he says, uh, son, be of good cheer. This is verse two, a portion of verse two, thy sins be forgiven thee. And behold, certain of the scribes said within themselves, this man blasphemed uh, Mark chapter two, verse one through 12. And I'm going to start at verse five. And when Jesus saw their faith, he said unto the sick of the palsy, son, thy sins be forgiven thee. But there were certain of the scribes sitting there and reasoning in their hearts, why doth this man speak blasphemies? Who can forgive sins but God only? Now, a blasphemy here is dishonoring God or putting oneself in the place of God. Okay. And so, again, so I, I, I just wanted to give those a sort of a proof text of, you know, that to the Jew, and they understand, understood this correctly, that only God can forgive sins. Do we all believe that? Amen. Now, I, I wanted to also just reinforce in this forgiveness that comes through uh, Jesus, even uh Paul, in his testimony in Acts chapter 22, and we'll get there eventually, sometime <laughs> this year, maybe. Amen. Chapter 22, uh, beginning at verse 8. And this is just a portion of his testimony. And he says, and I answered, who art thou, Lord? And he said unto me, I am Jesus of Nazareth, whom thou persecutest. And they that were with me saw indeed the light and were afraid but they heard not the voice of him that spake to me. And I said, what shall I do, Lord? And the Lord said unto me, arise and go into Damascus. And there it shall be told thee of all things which are appointed for thee to do. And when I could not see for the glory of that light being led by the hand of them that were with me, I came into Damascus. And one Ananias, a devout man, according to the law, having a good report, of all the Jews which dwelt there, came unto me and stood and said unto me, Brother Saul, receive thy sight. And the same hour I looked up upon him. And he said, The God of our fathers, who have chosen thee, that thou shouldest know his will and see that just one, and shouldest hear the voice of his mouth, for thou shalt be his witness unto all men of what thou hast seen and heard. Now and now, why tarriest thou? Arise and be baptized and wash away thy sins, calling on the name of the Lord. Praise God. Okay. Now, the other thing, again, it, 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 it introduces the fact that, again, that Jesus is who?
God. He's God. Hey, thank you. Uh, I thought I was someplace else. All right. All right. Uh, the Lord himself in Luke 24, 45 through 49, then opened he their understanding that they might understand the scriptures and said unto them, thus it is written and thus it behoove Christ to suffer and to rise from the dead the third day and that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations beginning at Jerusalem and ye are witnesses of these things and behold I send the promise of my father upon you but tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until ye be endowed with power from on high praise God Jesus is who? God. God. Amen. Um, John 8. And I know I'm running you through this, but I, I, I need to uh, give you as much as I can uh, tonight. And, and, and certainly I won't even scratch the surface here. Uh, then answered the Jews and said unto him, say not, Say we not well that thou art a Samaritan and hast a devil. And Jesus answered, I have not a devil, but I honor my father and ye do dishonor me. And I seek not my own glory. There is one that seeketh and judgeth. Verily, verily, I say unto you, if a man keep my saying, he shall never see death. Then said the Jews unto him, now we know that thou hast a devil. Abraham is dead, and the prophets, and thou sayest, if a man keep my sayings, he shall never taste death. Art thou greater than our father Abraham, which is dead, and the prophets are dead? Whom makest thou thyself? I, I, I love the way the Lord responds, amen, praise God, to Questions such as this. And Jesus answered, if I honor myself, my honor is nothing. It, it is my father that honoreth me, of whom ye say that he is your God. Yet ye have not yet ye have not known him, but I know him. And I should say, and if I should say, I know him not, I shall be a liar like unto you. But I know him and keep his saying, your father Abraham rejoice glory to God, to see my day. And he saw it and was glad. Then said the Jews unto him, thou art not yet 50 years old, and hast thou seen Abraham? Jesus said unto them, verily, verily, I say unto you, before Abraham was, I am. Hallelujah. Then took up the then they then took up stones to cast him, cast out, cast out him. But Jesus hid himself and went out of the temple, going through the midst of them, and so passed by. As I would mention from time to time, there are those times that Jesus spoke as a man. And then there are those times that Jesus spoke as God. This is an example of Jesus speaking as God when he says, before Abraham was, I am. In other words, have you seen Abraham? That was the question. Look, before Abraham even was born, I was, I am. In other words, he says, before Abraham was, I am. Now, who was the I am that we find in the Old Testament? God. 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 Last time I checked in Exodus, when Moses asked the question, you know, they're going to ask me who, what's your name? Praise God. Well, tell him that I am sent you. Praise God. Look at how he answers. All right. See, as Jews, they would have been familiar with the terms I am. That is one reason why they picked up the stones to stone him. Because this, this man must be, you know, he's blaspheming our God. Praise God. All right. And so when you look at this and, you know, it, 
it, it, it's, it's another, if you will, breadcrumbs. But see, one of the things also is that even the understanding of who he was at that time was hid from them. And it had to be, had to be because of the fact if they received that revelation before Calvary, they would never have crucified him. And then guess what? They would be in trouble. We would be in trouble. Praise God. Amen. So I am so glad that it did not get out until after Calvary who he really was. Praise God. Because if, if it had, we would be in trouble. Praise God. Amen. And I thank God. Amen. Praise God for that. Now, I just want to add a few things. And these are, you know, when you look in, 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 in our, uh, our Bible and you look at some of the uh, titles and, or names that he was referred to as, or, you know, in Revelations, he is um, almighty, Revelations 1 and 8. But if you go back to Exodus chapter 6, you know, the Lord tells Moses, in Exodus 6 and 3, and I appeared unto Abraham and unto Isaac and unto Jacob by the name of God Almighty, but by my name Jehovah was I not known to them. Revelations 1 and 8, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, saith the Lord, which is and which was and which is to come. Then he calls himself the Almighty. Speaking of Jesus here, okay? So he is the almighty. He is the alpha and the omega. Alpha and omega are the first letter in the Greek alphabet and the last, praise God. So he, he goes on, amen, praise God. He is the beginning and he is the ending, praise God. The scripture also tells us in Revelation 3, 14, the beginning of the creation of God. All right. He is the bread of life. John 6 and 32. Isaiah 9 and 6 calls him the everlasting father. All right. Again, Revelations 1 and 17 in that same chapter where it talks about him being the beginning and the ending. Later down, it calls him the first and the last. Later, John 8 and 58 said, again, he is the I am, which we just read. 1 Timothy 6 and 15, he is king of kings. 1 Corinthians 2 and 8, Lord of glory. Lord of lords, 1 Timothy 6 and 15. Isaiah 9 and 6, he is the mighty God. All right? John 1 and 9, the true light. 15 and 1, St. John, true vine. John 1 and 14, truth. John 1 and 1. Word, Revelations 19 and 13, the word of God. Praise God. Now, I don't know about you all, but I kind of think that the Lord is trying to let us know who he is. He's God. Amen. How many know that? Amen. Do you not know that until his disciples realized that Jesus could not ascend. You know, we, we talk about diademus, uh, or which I think literally means the twin. That's Thomas, all right? And you know how Thomas wasn't there when everybody else saw him. You know how we are sometimes. I, 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 you know, I won't take your word. <laughs> I got to see him for myself. I got to put my hand, not, not only do I have to see him, but I got to touch him. I got I to gotta check out and make sure there's a scar where there should be one. And there should be some in his hands, praise God. By the time the Lord gets finished with Thomas, what is he saying? My Lord. And what else? My God. He doesn't stop at just Lord, but he is my God. And that is the reality of it where we all have to arrive at is that he is our what? He is our God. And when you recognize that, you know, 
then all of a sudden, even the things that are familiar to us and even the, the words and the testimonies that we use, you know, you know, or we, you know, and be careful of these songs. I keep telling y'all, you know, sometimes, you know, he's my doctor in a sick room. He's my lawyer in a courtroom. That sounds nice, praise God. But I have a doctor and his name is uh, H. Herbert Washington. He's a man, glory to God. You know, I had an attorney, praise God. But my point is this, when you say he's your lawyer, when you say he's your doctor, then you bring down, you know, who God really is. So what is it? He is a God that can heal, right? Amen. He is a God you know, that can go before you in a courtroom, right? Amen. He even told his disciples, look, you know, when you're, when you're taken and put into prison, I don't even want you to think about your defense, what you're going to say, and then when they bring you before, and then the tribunal, praise God, for in that very self-same hour, I am going to give you what to say, praise God. Amen. You all see this? Praise God. Let, let's not, and that's why I say, when you know that he is God, then anything that brings him down, amen, praise God, you want to get away from that. You don't want to buy into that, praise God. Like I said, a lot of things sound good, amen, praise God, but you got to recognize, amen, glory to God, that God is more than a doctor, praise God. He is our bomb of Gilead, praise God. Amen. And, and, and see, when you when you look at him and you look at the fact that, look, you know, I, I've got quite a few doctors, praise God, and, and have dealt extensively with them, praise the Lord. Amen. But, you know, our God, before you even have the complaint, he has already diagnosed your case. He knows what's going on, praise God. He knows, glory to God, amen, praise God, amen, praise God, whether it's on your left side or your right side. Look at who you're dealing with. You look, you're dealing with the creator of the whole of mankind. If anybody knows anything about, amen, praise God, this body, God does. There, there are, amen, praise God, there are organs or, or there are, Amen, praise God. Parts of our body, even, even science now, medical science now, still doesn't know exactly what it does. But God knows why he put it there. Hallelujah. Amen. And so, you know, we need to, and, 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 and I, what am I saying? I, 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 we need to elevate our opinion of who God is. Praise God. If, if we're not careful, amen, we lower it, praise God. Glory to God. Now, one of the things that Israel did, and, and, and you know, they, they dealt a lot with um, idolatry, but one of the things that we find them doing is just not just simply, you know, going off and, and worshiping other gods, but they take their God and depict him, you know, as images. Romans chapter one. Romans chapter one and verse two, I'll begin at verse 22. Well, I begin at verse 21. It says, because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God. This becomes our problem. Neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, in their mind. And their foolish heart was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools and changed the glory of the uncorruptible God. Look at what it says. Didn't go after another God, but they changed uh, the glory of an uncorruptible God into an image made like to corruptible man and to birds and four-footed beasts and creeping things. You all remember when we were studying, I believe we probably 
hit home with it more in the book of Deuteronomy than we did in Exodus that when they arrived at Mount Sinai and the mount was on fire, if you will, amen, and the Lord spoke to them. And then when, we, when, we, when they received the Decalogue or the Ten Commandments, you know, it was the Lord doing what? Speaking not to Moses, but he was speaking what? Directly to the people, praise God. And what thing that Moses remind them of is that they didn't see a likeness. They did not see an image. All they heard was what? His voice. Because you know, when we see something, we want to replicate it. You know, we want to draw a picture of it. Well, he kind of looked like this. No, no. The moment we start doing that, praise God, we change the uncorruptible God into something that is corruptible. Something that is corruptible does what? It can fade away. Praise God. It can be destroyed. Amen. And our God should never be a God that does what with us? Fade away. Praise God. Amen. And so, you know, I, I, I just think that, you know, it, every now and then, and, and maybe this seems sort of, you know, um, you know, elementary, if you will, but it's those little things that I think a lot of time that we forget all about. You know, we, we really kind of forget about, you know, really who God really is. And, you know, I, I want you, if you could, and I know it's kind of me perhaps an, impossible for us, but can you realize the moment, you know, and even afterwards, after, you know, the Lord's ascension and, and they now have this understanding that, you know what, they walked with God. They talked with God. They embraced God. You know, look, look, at, look at how 1 John puts it. He says, you know, that which was from the beginning, which we have, look at what he says, we have heard. Oh my God. That would have been enough for me. But look at look at what else he moves on. He says, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon, and our hands have handled. Look at what he calls him the word of life. I touched him. You know, they are those are, you know, they are in the presence of someone that's popular great celebrity, maybe they shake their hand and, you know, you hear the saying, I'm not going to ever wash this hand. You know, they touched God. They touched God. I'm going to show you something else. Even when God shows himself, remember, Peter, James, and John went up with the Lord on the Mount of Transfiguration, right? Okay. Now, he, you know, and what happens? According to scripture, and when you put all, you know, Pete, Matthew, Luke, and John, Matthew, Mark, and Luke together, you get a good picture. And what you see is, you see the Lord in his glory. There with him is Moses in his glory. Also Elijah in his glory, right? So they see this. They see all of that, praise God. And, you know, Peter's excited and he says, you know, Lord, let us make three tabernacles, three tents, you know, that, you know, you know, and, and a tent is for what? It's a dwelling place. In other words, Peter had no desire to go down from this mountain, praise God. But now was not the time to stay on top of the mountain. But the point that I want to make is this. When they go down, he tells them not to tell anyone. Praise God. Until after, you know, his after his ascension, after, after Calvary. All right. But you know, one of the reasons for that is they yet did not understand who they were dealing with. Praise God. Not they did not have the understanding that they would have later. I want to take you to 1 John. Not 1 John, but St. John. Now, when John talks about it, 
When he writes now, he's in a different place. Look at what he says. You know, John starts out, in the beginning was the word, the word was with God and the word, and excuse me, in the beginning was the word, the word, the word and, and the word was with God and the word was God. John doesn't even say, hey, how you doing? John doesn't say greetings to the saints in Jesus Christ's name. You know, John, I think it's kind of like me in a little bit. Well, excuse me, I'm a little bit like him in the sense that I just want to get right into it. You know, because I'm, I'm I'm so excited because you know, look at what John said. In the beginning was the word. The word was the word was with God. The word was God. The same that was in the beginning with God. All right. So this is what the Lord shows John. Okay, this is what He shows him. All right, and when you compare that with Genesis 1, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. That's what the Lord showed Moses. Moses, the Lord shows Moses the created beginning. The Lord shows John into eternity. He goes past what Moses saw or what the Lord gave, because look, look at where he goes. In the beginning, when time began, there was the word, all right? And the word was with God and the word was God. But I wanna take you down to verse 14 because this gets us back to the Mount of Transfiguration. And the word was with, and the, and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Look at what he says. And we beheld his glory, hallelujah. What was, the, what was the Lord in on Mount Transfiguration? He was in his glory. And John has said, I saw it. Praise God. Amen. And the, the glory of the only, as of the only begotten of the Father. Look at what he says, full of grace and truth. Praise God. Hallelujah. Y'all see this? Amen. So he sees a little more after this time. Now, I know there are those that say, you know, uh, 1 John is not, uh, you know, it's another author. It's not the same John. I, I honestly, I believe it is the same one. Praise God. Because when he talks about we handled him, praise God. Amen. That, that's John. But the point that I want to the point that I want to make that even with all that he has seen, you know, in verse in chapter number three, first John chapter three, below verse two, now are we the sons of God? Are we the sons of God? And then brothers and sisters, are we the sons of God? Amen. Amen. You say you're you're a daughter of God. That's yeah. fine. That's fine. It's okay. <laughs> oh bless the lord amen and look at what he says and it doth not yet appear what we shall be y'all ever think about that and it doth not yet appear what we shall be but we know that when he shall appear. Now, now, John, you might say, well, wait, wait a minute, John, you, you were on the Mount of Transfiguration. You saw the Lord in his glory. You saw Moses in his glory. You saw Elijah in his glory. But look at what he says. But we, you know, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. But, but didn't you see him, John? Here's the point, here's, here's the thing. When Peter, James, and John were on the Mount of Transfiguration, with Jesus, and he saw the three of Jesus, Moses, and Elijah. 
They are in their flesh. They are looking on glory. They are viewing and observing glory, speaking to glory. Praise God. They tell us, the gospels tell us, the two of them were there to comfort Jesus concerning what he was about to face at Jerusalem, praise God. Amen. But see, what, 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 what I believe John is saying, look, I saw him on the mount. I saw him in his glory, praise God. But there's yet something I just don't see. Why? Be or no, because, amen, praise God, I'm still in the flesh. But look at what he says, that, you know, there's going to come a day, amen, praise God, when we shall do what? For we shall see him, at, so we shall be like him. Now, the only way you can see him as he really is, is to be like him. What does that mean? In your glory. Hallelujah. My God. Oh, hallelujah. Now, to us right now, there are times when, you know, we see you know, what God does. And we see sometimes, amen, praise God, some things, and we just got to go, oh, glory, look at my God. But we haven't seen anything. Oh, my God. We haven't seen it yet, praise God. Oh, hallelujah. I don't know. I, 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 I don't think you want to miss this. I, I don't really think you want to miss what's ahead of us, praise God. Amen. I, I, I don't know about you, but I, I, I kind of get chills when I read this. And, and, and John, look, we're talking about a man that touched God. We're talking about a man, glory to God, amen, that for three and a half years, he followed him everywhere. We talk about a man that was given revelation from God. Amen, praise God. We, we, we're we talking about someone that, amen, praise God, that was so, amen, committed to God that when he writes, he doesn't even put his name in his own book. All I want you to see is Jesus. That's John. Hallelujah. I don't need you to see me. I need you to see him, praise God. Then to come back and say, you know what? There's coming a day. Hallelujah. We shall be like him, praise God. Glory to God, hallelujah. Amen, praise the name of our God. And that's why, amen, when we look at this and we think about what we're going through, and this is one of the things that Paul tries to get us to see, is that what lies ahead of us is worth so much more than what we're dealing with now. How do we make it through with what we're going through now, praise God? Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of my faith, praise God. Looking to what is yet to come. Amen. You recognize this, that everything that we see, amen, praise God, that we go through right now is only temporary. If you can feel it, it's temporary. If you can see it, it's temporary, praise God. Amen, glory to God, hallelujah. So that pain, it's only temporary, praise God. Amen, what you're dealing with, the circumstances, the unpleasant ones, they're only temporary, praise God. And then the Lord begins, amen, praise God, and to use John, amen, for him to let us know, amen, praise God, that if you hang in there, if you keep holding on, praise God, he says, you know, in Revelation 21, hallelujah, he makes this statement, I heard, verse 3, a great voice out of heaven saying, behold, the tabernacle of God, amen, is with men. And he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them and be their God. It sounds like almost the same thing he told Israel coming out of Egypt when he wanted to tabernacle with them. Praise God. And, and God shall, look at what it says, shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. Not some, but all. I don't know about you, praise God, but I, I cry now. I shed tears now. Hallelujah. 
Glory to God. And I know some of you brothers, you know, when men don't cry. I cry. Praise God. If Jesus can weep, I can weep too. Praise God. Amen. And, and shall wipe away all tears from their eyes and there shall be no more death. Death is all around us. Praise God. We have witnessed more death in the last year Amen, praise God, than we have in a long time, my Lord. But he's saying, look, there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying. Hallelujah. You know, I look at these sometimes, the sorrow and the crying, and sometimes, amen, we have gotten a depth to, amen, hiding our sadness and, you know, the things that hurt us the most, praise God. And, we go home and we close the door and we maybe pull down the shades and amen and we weep and we moan praise god before god and god is saying glory to god amen i feel you i hear what you're saying praise god but there is coming a day amen praise god when there will be no more sorrow there will be no more crying there shall be no more pain not just physical pain but emotional pain, you know, that kind, amen, praise God, that runs deep. See, there are some, there are some places in us, our best friend, our, our brothers and our sisters in Christ just can't reach. But there's not a place in you that God cannot reach. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of our God. Amen. He not only, see, he, he tells us this, you know what? I came that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. He's not only promised us life to come, but he's promised us, amen, even now he gets us through. But what he's telling us, as good as I can do right now, praise God, I'm holding back. Amen, praise God. The real, you know, because what happens now, you know, the pain may go away, but guess what? Here comes another. The tears may dry up, but here comes something else. Praise God. But he talks about there comes a time when there will be no more. Praise God. See, here's the thing. All of what we described, all of what we talk about does not translate or does not carry over into eternity. Your pain does not go into eternity. Your crying, your weeping, death does not go into eternity. Praise God. Amen. And see, these become our hope, you know, our expect expectation. I like, again, I want to make it clear when we talk about hope in Jesus, we're not talking about as we look at it in, in you know, in, in the way we look at it today. I hope this happens. I hope it works out. We're not talking about a 50-50 proposition. But when you talk about hope, as, 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 as placed in scripture, uh, Hebrews 11, now faith is the substance of things hoped for. That word hope there does not mean maybe. Hope there means that which is expected. That's what he's talking about. Do we expect the Lord to return? I do. Praise God. I know I do. Hallelujah. That's one of the things that should encourage us to go through what we're going through, praise God. Amen. Amen. Ephesians. And I, 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 I'm, I'm kind of like maybe Bishop Turner tonight. I'll, I'll be through when I'm through. Praise God. Just hang with me a little bit while long. Ephesians chapter uh, uh, three. And at the end of it, And he, he, he makes this statement and he says, you know, that, you know, he says that, and now unto verse 20, and now unto him that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all things we ask or think according to the power that is at work in us, praise God. And, but he also talks about, amen, praise God, in, a, in, a, in, in another place where, you know, he calls these things just, you know, they're, 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 they're little, they're, they are, 
you know, praise. See, I guess when, when you look at where we are now and where we are going, you know, now, you know, we have a defined period of time in which we are here. And, you know, eternity, time goes away. Praise God. And so anything that happens in this life can pale to what God has for us in eternity. Look at what he's telling his disciples. You know what? I'm going away to prepare a place for you. You know what? And, and, and I'm going to come again. That's why your heart shouldn't be troubled, praise God. I, I know you're going to go through down here. I know, amen, you're going to face a lot of sorrow and pain and all of this, praise God. But you know what? The gospel of Jesus Christ has to go forth, praise God. Folks have to know, praise God, amen, that there is a remedy for sin, praise God. Amen. Somebody, and see, that's the other side of it. Amen. We live in a place and a time now when many have lost, you know, hope. And I'm not just simply talking about hope in God, but just a hope for a better way of life, a hope for their children, a hope, amen, praise God, amen, that, you know, they can survive in a world like this. I, I, I was reading something years ago and how, you know, they were able to, to, to convince people to, you know, to become, you know, human, you know, bombs and, 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 and things of this nature, praise God. And typically the ones that they appealed to were the ones who had lost hope, who saw no way out, who saw you know, no prospects for progress in their life, praise God, amen. But look at what the Lord has given us. He has given us hope, praise God. And this hope maketh not a shame. It, in other words, it does not disappoint, praise God. And sometimes you have to talk to yourself. Sometimes when you're going through and you know, you gotta, you, you gotta speak to, I, you know, you're not crazy if you talk to yourself, praise God. Amen. If you you ought to be the best person to encourage yourself. Praise God. Amen. Come on. Thank you. Thank you, somebody. Praise God. Amen. You ought to be able to tell yourself, self, you know that. You can do Amen. this, praise God. Yes, yes, Lord. He said yes. that I'm hallelujah. Thank you, praise Jesus. God, hallelujah. Come on, church. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Every now and then. Praise God. You gotta, you got look, you, you gotta have a come to Jesus meeting with yourself. Praise God. And you got to talk to yourself. And you got to tell yourself about yourself. And be truthful, praise God. You know you're not right. Get right. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You don't need a self that's just going to patch you. It's okay. They just don't understand us. Rebuke that spirit. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise, him. Amen. praise the name of our God. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. I, 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 I just want to encourage you, praise God, tonight to just, amen, praise God, put our trust in the Lord. And I, I know that we, we, we are dealing with so much, but look, let me tell you something. God is sensitive to everything that we go through. You know, when he talks to about Israel and, and that he had heard their cry because of, you know, what they were going through and the suffering. Now, here's the thing that I, I begin to recognize. It's not, it's not just simply that, you know, they were crying to the Lord, help, Lord, help, Lord, all the time. But the fact that, that what they went through caused them literally to cry. Have you ever cried about your circumstance and your situation? And it wasn't that you were crying out to the Lord. You were just crying because of what you were dealing with. Yes, amen. 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 Okay. This is what I'm talking about. Guess who he is? Yes, no, right. God hears that cry. He hears your cry. Yes. Praise God. It may not be directed to him, but when you're crying, he hears it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And guess what he'll do? He'll do something about it. Praise God. And this is what he was telling them. You go back there, Moses, and tell them, I heard their cry. 
praise God. I heard those nights, praise God, when they were at home, amen, praise the name of our God, wondering, can it get any worse? Praise God. Is there any way out of this? Praise God. Hallelujah. Yes, and when Lord. they go back and they rehearse, when they came down into Egypt, they were the guests of Egypt. Now look at where we are right now. We're the slaves. Mm. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. We're the dust that they walk on. My Lord. My God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. That, my brother and my sister, will make you cry. Amen. It will make you cry. Praise God. And the Lord is telling him to tell them, I heard you. For over 400 years, I heard you. There is not a cry that we make that the Lord has not heard. Praise him. He's God. Yes, yes. He's God. Yes, Lord. You know how we are sometimes. We, we get tired of folk crying. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Before Amen. we even pick up the phone, oh Lord, what do they got to talk about? What do they got to cry about? Lord? Here she go crying again. Oh, <laughs> hallelujah. But I'm so glad, my God. Hallelujah. hallelujah. I am so glad. Hallelujah. 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 The Lord has the audacity to tell us, you know what? Men should always pray. And not thank amen, God. amen. He's, he's basically telling what is prayer? Prayer in its basic sense is communicating with God. That's right. To God. And you know what the Lord right. just told you? Talk. Talk to me. Talk to me. He doesn't care if it's 3 a.m. in the morning. Talk to me. Amen. He'll wake you up at 3 a.m. in the morning and tell amen. you, talk to me. Praise yes. God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory. Glory. Hallelujah. God bless you, saints. Amen. I thank God for you. I know, you know, this is, well, God knows. Amen. Praise God. And I, I, I hope that, amen, this helps us even in our lesson, praise God, on tonight. Amen. In Jesus' name, praise God. And let Don't us stop. You got some more time. <laughs> you got some more time. <laughs> oh, Lord, have mercy. I, you know, I, 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 honestly, I, 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 I hear you, Sister Ali, and I thank you. you know, I, I'm at a point right now, you know, if, if I keep going, Lord, have mercy. And I, and I got somebody I, I promised that I would pray for, amen, here, on, you know, and anybody else, amen, praise God, that's okay. Praise the Lord, amen. We're just going to have to form a prayer line right where we are, amen, in Jesus' name, praise God. But, you know, if you, if there are those times, and I'm trying to tell sometimes, because I, I know, and you can, the Lord allows you to feel it sometimes, you know, the pain that people are dealing with, praise God. And, yes, you know, sir. there are those things, you know, and see, some of us, we, we fail, amen, to understand and to realize, praise God, that, you know, we, we, we are so wrapped around our own circumstances and situations. Amen, amen. We forget all about someone else, you oh, know? Jesus. And Jesus. What I, here's what I mean. I mean, you know, some of you, thank God, you have husbands and you have wives and you have, or you have those, amen, companions that are saved and filled with the Holy Ghost. But then there are the others that don't have that. That's right. When they close that door, they're there by themselves. Mm -hmm. There's no one to encourage them. My Lord. My Lord. Hallelujah. You, you know, <laughs> and, and yes, ma'am. Yes, mother. You got it. You got to learn. Amen. Yes, but, but the point is, but I also want us to understand that's why it's so important for us to pray for one another. Amen. And pray, amen. Praise God. You know, literally when I think it was about first six months or a year after the Lord, amen, my father passed, uh, you know, and, and I was pastoring. I was at, I was at noonday prayer by myself and the Lord had me go get a piece of paper and said, I want you to write every number name down. But he had me categorize it in their situations, whether they were single, single with children, married, together, married, you know, together, but one saved, not saved, widow, divorced, 
praise God. And then all of these, and by the time I got finished and I looked at it, he made this statement. He says, this is your audience. This, these are who you have to speak to. In other words, you can't leave any one of them out. Praise God. Not just them that, are, that happen to be where you are, you know, but you got to remember everybody. Praise God. And so Amen. you got to remember Amen. that one, that even though that may be a smile on their face, when they say, praise the Lord and Lord willing, we'll see you the next time. Amen. But when they leave and they go home, praise God. Amen. There's nobody necessarily there to say, praise God, what you're dealing with. You know, how can I help you? Well, let's pray. You know, mm -hmm. let's pray. Praise God. Amen. Well, to tell you, you know what? Jesus can fix it. Oh, you know what? You know, the Lord has just spoken to me to let you know it's going to be all right. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. But let me tell you again, God has, that's why it is so important. And, you know, as, as, as Paul puts it, that, you know, that above, you know, he says, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit, watching thereunto with all perseverance, Amen. watching to, look at what he says, watching thereunto, and I've never even seen this before, watching thereunto with all perseverance, watching with perseverance. So in other words, you continue to watch. You don't stop watching. Glory. Hallelujah. Which, what, what are we saying? Being sensitive to the fact, praise God, amen, yeah. that, we, that prayer and supplications yeah. are in yeah. order for all the people of God. Praise yeah. God. And supplications for all saints. Hallelujah. Not just those in your community or in your orbit, but all. Praise God. And here's the thing, if we're going to pray for all saints, then you know we're going to pray for everybody, the whole of Amen. mankind. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just want you to know, amen, praise God, that God hasn't left any of us out. Amen. And even if you don't have the spirit of God tonight, he'll hear your cry. As a matter of fact, he's heard every cry you've made. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. But the best cry you can make is, Lord, save my soul. Mm. He shot that Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory yes. to God. Yes, Lord. Save us, Lord. Thank Peter you. told them after hearing the word of God, the gospel, and their hearts being pricked, and he said, repent. Praise God. Hallelujah. You know, we talk about repentance being penitence and, you know, and, and turning. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise the Lord from what? From our sins. Praise God. But that, that word also, because I was looking at it and I was looking deeper at it, and it also means to take heed. That's really what it means. Take heed to what you just heard. Glory yes. to God. Hallelujah. Amen. It, it has with it. Amen. Amen. Praise God. The understanding that I am going to take heed to what you just told me to do. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. God bless you. Praise Glory. the name of our God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord Jesus. Sister Stephanie. Praise God. Sister Stephanie, are you still online? Yes, she, 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 there she is. Okay. Uh, Sister Stephanie asked that we would... Uh, Yes, I'm here. Pray for her. Amen. She's got some conditions that she's dealing with in her, her body. Praise God. And amen. And she asked that if, if I would, amen, praise God, pray for her. Amen. She didn't say after. Amen. We got all, she said after the prayer. And that's fine. Praise God. If we got anybody else, amen, praise God, please let us know. Amen. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. The thing that we want to impress upon us and that each and every one of us, amen, praise God, is see, God is, God is so good that yes, he knew yes. that this day or this time would be here. Amen, praise God, when, you know, we would not be able to come together in a physical building, you know, but he made us to understand that his presence fills every space. I don't have to, amen, I'm looking at Sister Stephanie on my screen, praise God. I don't have to say, Lord, go there. He's already there. 
Amen. Glory to God. Glory Amen. to God. How many Amen. love that? He's Amen. already in Thank that you, praise Jesus. God with us all. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Somebody said, I, you know, I, I, you know, I brought, I brought him with me when yes. I came. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. You know, we, we used to testify about having the Holy Ghost with a, a, a mighty burning fire. Oh, we, we, we don't talk about him like we used to. <laughs> Amen. Oh, oh, oh shakara, my Yuta. Hallelujah. Glory, oh, glory God. to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So if anyone Lord. else, amen, praise God. You can just, amen, amen, praise God. Acknowledge it now or just put it in the chat window. Amen, praise God. But we, we're just going to pray. Amen. We'll start with her. Amen, praise God. Amen, in Jesus' name. And we're just going to pray. And I want you all to pray with me. Amen. This is a young lady, amen, praise God, who has suffered. Amen, praise the Lord. Amen, with a condition for since birth. Am I right, Sister Stephanie? Amen. And she's now, what, 40? I don't like telling sisters ages, but, you know, she's, she's quite a lady right now. That's all right, 40. Well, she's 40. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. And, you know, mm -hmm. she, amen, according to, you know, medical science or her doctors back then, was not supposed to even be here now. But look at mm -hmm. God. Praise God. Amen. Mm -hmm. And I thank God for already Praise done. God. And, and see, some of us, you know, we don't know. See, there are those that you, we don't even know what it takes for you to, to come on this call tonight, to sit in a chair, amen, praise God. Some of us don't even know that. I, I, I remember Ooh, sitting with a, a fellow pastor and I was staying with him at his home, amen, praise God. And, and I had to look at what he had to do to get ready to go Amen. Praise God. Amen. To the church, how he had to filter his blood and all of these IVs and everything he had to do. Amen. Praise Jesus, God. Before Jesus. we can leave the house to go to the church, mm. praise God. And even between the service, amen, even he had to lay down on his couch and take more treatments, praise God. But his desire was to be there, praise God. Amen. Jesus. And so what I say that to say this, we don't know what folks are going through. Amen. We don't know what it what what they have to do just to Lord. sit in front of a camera, amen, and look as if all is well. Praise God, amen. Right. But God knows. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Thank Glory. You. Your hands Hallelujah. lifted, gracious Father. We thank yes, you, yes, Lord God. We bless your holy name, Jesus. Yes, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father, for your grace thank and your mercy on me. Thank, 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 thank you, Lord God, even for your word, Lord God. Hallelujah. Lord God, we thank you for your presence right now, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. We know, Lord God, that we're in different places, oh God, but by your spirit, Lord God, we are connected in you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, O oh Lord, and we praise your Father in the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, Lord God, I ask that you will look upon this, your daughter, Lord God, Sister Stephanie. Lord, you know yes, her condition, yes, God. You yes, know, glory yes, to God, what yes, she's dealing yes, with. You know, glory yes, to God, yes, hallelujah, Lord. what's Thank causing you, the Lord. issue, oh God, in this time, Lord. Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, Jesus. Glory Jesus. To God, Lord, that God. you would touch, Thank oh God, you, that you would heal, Father, yeah. that you would yeah. deliver, yeah. Lord God, as only Thank you can, Father. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, Lord God, increase glory to God, her faith in you, Lord. Give her the resolve, oh God, hallelujah, to Continue to trust you, Lord God. To continue going to God to allow you to go before the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, realizing, glory to God, that thou art a healer of all natural things, O Lord God. And there is nothing too hard for thee, O Lord. We thank you, O God, and we praise you tonight, Lord God. And Lord God, the many others, O God, those, those petitions that are spoken and unspoken, O God, you know them all, Lord. You know the conditions. You see, Lord God, everything, oh God, hallelujah. And tonight, Lord God, we pray, Lord, oh God, that you would show yourself strong, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, help us, oh God, oh God, to trust you on tonight, Lord God. Help us, oh God, glory to God, to glorify your holy name. Even with what we're dealing with, even with what we're going through, Lord God, in the midst of what I'm dealing with, oh God, I am going to bless your name. Name. I am going God. to exalt your name. I am going to glorify yeah, your hallelujah. name. 
Thank you, Jesus. Have your way in our homes. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Lord. Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, God, Jesus. there are those wayward children. We've been praying a long time, oh God. Yes, but we're not discouraged. Thank you, Lord. Oh, glory to God. For he that shall come will come. Yes, and will not tarry. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Have your way, Lord. Yes, Lord. Have your way, Father. Mm. Glory to God in the mighty name of the Lord. We thank you and we thank honor you Jesus. tonight. Lord God, thank bless our Jesus. mothers. Bless, oh God, every family, Lord God. Yes, bless Lord. even those, oh God, hallelujah, that have joined us on tonight, Lord God. Thank we are you, members, Jesus. oh God, of Lord, one body, Jesus. Lord. And yes, we Lord. thank you, Lord God, hallelujah. We glorify you. We lift you up, oh God. Bless each congregation that's represented here tonight, Lord. Each yes, pastor, Lord, Lord God. Yes, each Lord. assembly, oh God, yes, in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you and thank we praise you. you. In Jesus, your precious name, we pray. Can we say amen and can we give Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. On this Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Before we let you go, praise God. I want to remind. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Be warned that uh, tomorrow is the first Wednesday of the month. Praise the Lord, and we know that we have a prayer from seven thirty until eight thirty. Amen. Praise God. On the same link, praise God. Amen. So yeah, if you would like to join us, we will be here tomorrow. Amen. Praise God at 7.30 until 8. Also, it is noonday prayer. Same link. Amen. On tomorrow from noon until Amen. 1. Amen. In praise Jesus Him. Name. I have yet to read, I have yet to see where someone is OD'd on prayer. Y'all heard me? Amen. You can never pray too much. Amen. Praise him. Thank you. Daniel got in trouble. Glory. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, bless the Lord. name of our God. Hallelujah. God bless you, saints. With your hands Praise lifted, him. let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart yes. be accepted in thy sight. Oh Lord, my strength and my redemption. Let us all say amen. Amen. Oh, God bless amen. you in Jesus' name. And thank you, Jesus. Greet one another. Thank amen. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank